Hello, my name is Barry Gross, the pen turning teacher, and today I'm here at Penn State Industries to show you how easy it is to apply a CA finish. Here are some of the key things that you're going to need to get a sparkling finish on your wood pens. First off is your double-sided acrylic finishing pads that are specifically designed to polish acrylics. Next, you're going to need an accelerator spray. Then, medium CA glue, non-stick bushings, and a one-step polish because once you apply a CA finish, it is an acrylic pen at that point. I just turned this piece of green maple burl and sanded it to 800 grit. Now I'm ready to start the finish. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to remove my blank, put my bushings over here, and I've got my plastic non-stick bushings and I'm going to slide on here like this. Put this back on just like that. Bring this back up and do this. Now I'm going to take a paper towel like this and I've laid a, um, a towel across this because I don't want to get CA glue on my lathe bed. And I have a paper towel just like this and um, all these years you've been saving all these little parts bags now you know what to do with them. Stick your finger in it like that and use it and that way you're not going to get CA glue all over your fingers. All right. I'm going to turn the lathe speed down on this. It should be around 500 in that range. Okay. And now I'm going to take some medium CA glue just like this and put a big drop just like this on here. And then I'm going to start on one side and go right over here to the other side. Just nice and easy back and forth just like this. Then I'm going to take my accelerator and I don't use a, um, a pump spray. I use an accelerator like this. This is glue boost. Okay. And from about a foot away, I'm going to just lightly give it a couple little squirts like that. Now I'm going to come back and put a second coat on. Now you don't need to constantly work this, um, you know, use thin CA glue first and then go back to medium on top of it, all that. I just start and I start with medium right away and I use about six coats just like this, six light coats just like that. Give it a quick spray and it's dry. I mean it is completely dry. If I touch it like this it's completely dry. Okay. I'll take a pair of scissors like, and I'll cut off the end like that and so I have a clean piece of paper towel. Put another drop on here like this and I just work it just like that nice and easy back and forth till I get till it just starts to stick and then I remove it. If you leave it on there too much obviously it'll stick to it. Squirt it again, turn this over, put another drop on. And this is coat number four. It doesn't take that long to do and the other idea is people will say oh you've got to stop in between coats and sand it and everything else. I never do that. We just put on six nice healthy coats like this. And just keep working it back and forth. Just like that. There's five and this is coat number six. All right, and take off the paper bag. It didn't stick to my fingers, which is nice. And now if I stop this, you can see it's nice and coated all the way over. It may be a little lumpy. So if you want to, you can take a piece of 600 or whatever and just lightly sand it like this to get all the lumps down. Okay. And now we're going to wet sand it. I use these pads specifically. Okay, these are part of the of the uh, the, the fin kit, and I'm using wet. We wet sand with these, and I get a little cup of water. I'm going to dip it in. I'm going to turn the lathe speed back up, and I'm going to start to wet sand this. Wipe that off. 
dip it in the water again, come back, and this is the second one. The first one is 600 grit, this is 800 grit. And these pads are specifically designed for acrylics. And what is a CA finish is an acrylic. These are the same pads they polish helicopter windshields with. If it's good enough for a helicopter windshield, it's good enough for us. So this is 1500. And I want to get a nice little slurry on here. That's that white stuff you see right there. Wipe this off, wipe the pad off, dip it in again. This is 2400. And each time they get more successful, or you know, as it succeeds up the ladder here with grits, it gets finer and finer, the scratches. This is 2400. Oh, that was 2400. This is 4000. And the next one's going to be 12,000. Wipe this off. Come back. Do my 12,000 pad. So how long has this taken us? About a minute and a half? That's how quick and easy this is. When I'm finished with this, I'm going to take a little bit of one-step polish. Shake this up real good. This stuff is really nice. It gets rid of the little swirl marks that you can't really see with your naked eye, and it does a nice job. It sets it up really well for when we go to buff this. So all I'm gonna do is just take a tiny little bit on my finger like this, okay? Put, turn the lathe speed back on. It's about 2,000 RPM. Put this on, and then with a dry spot of the towel, I'm just gonna whip through this just like that. And this thing is really shining. It really is, it does a nice job with this stuff. So I'm going to take this out now, and you can see how nice this looks. But when you buff things, it takes it to the next level. It, um, I usually use a 10x loop at home to look at things. And I'm going to put this in here, bring up my tailstock, and please, when you use these, make sure you have tailstock support. Don't just plug this in and turn it on because it will, you know, fly out of there. This wheel is a cotton muslin, or cotton muslin wheel. I'm going to put a little bit of rouge on it, and this wheel gets no rouge. And all I'm going to do is just, and I, I put it at a little bit of an angle like this. That way, it gets rid of the, the scratches that are this way that you can't see with your naked eye. I usually have a 10x loop that I do this with, and that way I know I'm getting rid of all the minute little scratches that you can hardly see. Now I'm holding this, I got good pressure on this, so it's not gonna fly off on me. Look at the finish on this. This is incredible. It is a beautiful piece of burl. There's not a single scratch on it, and it's a perfect finish.